Give it up for Singapore's Lau Kian Yu and Malaysia's Lee Zijia. Well, this is a really tough match to call, I reckon. There's just one spot between them in the, in the rankings. Although, intriguingly, Lee Zijia has had the upper hand. Or red, can you? In previous Red, meetings, black, there you see it, 5-2 in his favour. Black, your choice. He's Service won the last three, side. incidentally, most recently. Semi-final at the Denmark Open. But that was uh, a way while ago, it was the back end of 2022. in the world and he was up at three as uh, recently as back end of 2022 born in Malaysia but Singapore citizen for the last nine years and of course he had that shot world title win in 2021 in Welva he was ranked 22 when he won the world championship beat uh, Axel in the first round memorably Kadambi in the final actually only won one Super 300 event, so an amazing story. And that was way back in 2021, the high-low open, only four finals since then. It's uh, Long in just 35 minutes in the opening game, Lu Kian Yu. side of the net, easy here of Malaysia, right inside the world's top ten, he's also been pretty high, number two back in uh, October of 2022, comes from a sporting family, both his parents were basketball internationals, four World Tour titles he's got, including this one, Back in 2021, where he famously beat Victor Axelsson in the final. He did take down the Arctic Open in Finland last October. So far this year, a couple of quarter-finals in India and Indonesia. There you see his first round result. Fabio Beto of Italy is in the umpire's chair. And Jürg High School of Germany, there he is, will be our service judge for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Zija, Malaysia. And on my left, Lord Ken Yu, Singapore. Lee Zija to serve. Love all. Play. This is a really tough one to call this men's singles. One, love. But it is a boost for Lee, you suspect, that he's got such a good recent record against Lowe. Well, there's a statement of intent. And this is the thing with Easy Jar. Physically, he's... You know, it's, it's phenomenal. You know, he can do things no one else can do, and he can almost pull shots out of nowhere where it's just physical force, you know, big power from nothing. I mean, the placement there was obviously very, very good as well. Both Three. these players, like, Love. pretty much all 
the top men's singles players at the moment physically are so good. Loken Yu, who's you know, like a speeding train, as in he's so fast. Easy Shai would say is explosive power, explosive strength. Incredible shot. What a start he's had to this, this match. Saw it yesterday when he played Narioka as well. Four love. Next time you go to your local club, try and play this shot. Let's see how difficult it is. I think there'll be a lot of people losing the round. <laughs> trying to recreate that, maybe even hitting themselves. Well, he's not giving five lower love. moments peace at the moment. We've only played for a minute or so. He's five love up. Low just hasn't really had a shot in anger so far. say he's making Loken Yu look normal speed. Loken Yu is not normal speed. Loken Yu is incredibly fast. But at the moment, Li Zhijia is exceptional. I mean, he, he showed this yesterday against Nanioka. He won 21-12 in the first, and he was 20-12 up in the second, and then something happened, and he maybe switched off, and it was all the way 2019 in the end. But his performance yesterday was exceptional as well. Well, Lowe's been hit by a speeding train here. Doesn't know what's going on. And at the moment, it is. I mean, it doesn't get any better. I, I think he's got a point to catch. Well, I think he's, he's got a point to prove, I think. And, you know, he's showing everyone he is phenomenal. And Logan, he hasn't done a lot wrong. He's just not been able to get in the game. He's not been given any opportunity, any chance. But he's on the board. Service over. One, eight. it really well and shows shows that phenomenal speed that he has With a shot now, that early easy shift blitz. Want to change? Four oh, points yeah. in a row. For the Singaporean. That's the big thing, Li Zhijia. He just didn't let Loken Yu settle at all, and that's why he went off to this phenomenal lead. Loken Yu just settled, managed to get into the game, and again, another incredible shot. This is the thing at the moment. I mean, 
it's not often when you don't... Yeah, Luka knew it's very, very quick, there's no doubt about that. It's not very often you see him in this much stress, as in being pulled all different parts of the court and not even getting a racket on it. Sometimes he can be a little bit um, susceptible to just some unforced errors, because when you move at the speed he moves at, everything's a bit more complicated. But at the moment, he just can't get a racket on it. Easy Jar's just been pretty incredible. I watched his game and it's a totally different character to now and he, he didn't look um, enthusiastic, didn't look motivated. People questioning if he could still do it and I think for me it was the big question was what does he Five, need to ten. turn things around and get that mo motivation back, that desire, that hunger. And he's done all the right things because he's like a, a new player since then. See short lift, good placement, but well read. Hello, can you? Well, brilliant shot to go into the mid game break with from Lee Zijier. He's got a big lead after getting off to an absolute flyer. Ain't love it was at one point, but he's still well clear and he's playing right at the top of his game. Placed. I mean, the last two smashes he's hit have clocked in at 400 kilometers per hour. You know, he's a very dangerous, very physical player. And when his attack's on point and accurate, how do you deal with it? See that backhand smash there. You've got to then cover the full extremity of the court. It's too close, that backhand smash to Lizzie's eyes. Too easy for him to be able to control it.
six. That final smash was a little bit softer, only 399 kilometers per hour. But this is the thing, he's, you know, he's, at the moment he's showing everything. It's just a welter of winners at the moment from this man. Consistently hitting smashes around the 400 kilometers per hour. Uh, rhythm a little bit with the enforced break while we wait for Hawkeye. Called in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 15 6. Play. Brilliant from Loka New, showing that speed, and this is what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to take some risks. He's going to have to take some calculated decisions, because otherwise, Lizzie Jars had control of this first game so far. So it's over 16-7. is against him at the moment, Loka New. Net cords going against him. Lizzy Jar putting the shuttle on the line with the 400 km per hour smash consistently. Well, I suppose if net cords are going to go against him, Lowe would prefer it happens now, but Eight, if it's 17. a tense situation and a more, uh, more close score line. The difficult thing is if Lizzy Jar keeps this up, it's going to be hard to have a Close scoreline because he's been exceptional so far. Nine seventeen. But they're well read by Loken Yu, just the wrong shot from Lizzy Jar. Thinks Loken Yu's gonna chase to the net on the one before, but he held his base back. saw yesterday we saw just a, a slight lapse of concentration and a big run at the end for Narioka the final the second game big run of seven points it's important for Lizzie Jar to kind of clamp down and make sure he doesn't give Loka New any confidence for the second game Play to 
will push rather for play to perfection. It was just on the inside of the line. Starting to read what's going on. 18. Starting to get more comfortable in this game. Here, straight away. Soft point he needed just to hold the momentum of the uh, low can you come back just a couple of points away now from securing this opening game you think he was eight love up without those eight points So, five game points here for Lee. Okay. 17 minutes is all it took, 21-15. First game won by Lee and Lee's favour, absolutely 15. blistering start. I never really looked back. Just get the sense that Lowe can make this uh, second game way more competitive, but he can't afford to get off to the same kind of start. One, go. The big thing at the start of the game and almost throughout the game was just the attack of Lizzie Jar is so dangerous. Lizzie Jar is attacking, playing net, getting the lift and attacking again. And it's important for Lowe can you, he's got to get hold of this net.
is unstoppable. This is it, you know, it's, it's kind of every time he gets the attack. He works the rally there, holds his base, changes his feet position and then gets the attack. And every time he gets the attack, he's just putting on the line with massive power. You can see how that look can use. He's finding it difficult because he, he's just not too sure what to do. lift style because he all really cares about is getting the attack because his attack's been that good holding the net been a very quick start to this second game almost similar to the first thing if Loken you can sustain the attack which he does here he will get a few few gifts a few cheap points a few easier points from Lizzie Jar <laughs> it is so hard to contain the attack the sheer power Six. that Lizzie Jar has Three. Trouble. Three. Just forcing out the back. Can you can you show him please? Thank you. Stay there, three. his quick hands Eight, and it's hard to try and spin back Lizzie Jar's spin because there's so much spin on it Eight. too sure what can you was really trying there but even to try and spin it back and hold net it's so difficult to do so it's over four eight He's like that, won't go and miss for low. Just to get, try and get some of that confidence back. We could see his body language after the point, though. Loken, you're almost shaking his head. Oh! Not the kind of body language you'd expect, though, when you win a point. So it's over. Nine, five. I mentioned both his parents were basketball players, so he wouldn't be able to play so and it's a square guard, Woody, he's Ten, a big lad. Five. And it's amazing, Lee I'd love to have known what he did from a young age regarding the off-court side of things, because his athleticism is phenomenal. I do believe a reasonable amount of it will be natural, but he's so explosive, he's so strong. And, you know, physically, he is pretty much the perfect badminton athlete. So it's over. Six. Ten. So big lead at the big 
Good game break. Five clear now. Lizzie Shear. Eleven six. Play. Something Loco knew he doesn't really want to do a high lift because if you give Lizzy Jar too much time, he's showing his power. So now he's going with flatter lifts, but now Lizzy Jar's reading it and cutting it out. So we saw that. Really, seven. that's been a very, Twelve. very quick, explosive match. Haven't had a lot of long rallies at all. Just looks completely in control of his game at the moment. And that tends to have that kind of an effect seven. on an opponent. That was a poor shot. Barely halfway up the net from Lokenyu. Can you try and get back into this? If he just has such a high base, he's got to get the net, as I said earlier, and he's got to force Easy Jar into lifting over the top of him. Going with these flat lifts, they're just putting him in trouble. Look at you challenge. Such a powerful shot. He will be challenged. I don't think he'll get much joy. He absolutely nailed that. And I reckon that's hit the line. <laughs> When Lee hits a shuffle, it stays hit. See what Hawkeye says. No issues inside the line, in fact. One successful. One trial entry remaining. Seconds over. 15. It's a good attack there from Lokanyu. I haven't seen enough of it because he hasn't been on balance with the attack. So he's got to force his opponent to lift. He's got to be the first player to get this net. Feels like just the odd consolation strike against the head from Lokenyu. Oh. Missed it. This is the thing, maybe a little bit of fortune to win that point, but he's got to kind of go all in now and what I mean by that is if he's trying to move the shuttle around if he's being passive if he's the player lifting he's just putting himself in so much trouble he's got to have such a high base and force his opponent to have to lift wow. this is the thing you give Lizzie Jar half a chance and from nothing absolutely monstrous smash he almost hangs in the air like a basketball player with those jump smashes you see a basketball player almost kind of hover over the basket 
for a slam dunk. It's it's not dissimilar movement. So powerful. He hits it. Ridiculous velocity. It's going to go way long, and it's just three points away now. 18. Just literally barely half an hour. Looked at the order of play, Chris. Saw this match and thought it might, you know, might be an hour, hour and a half. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. thing is for Loka and you it's been so hard for him to find his level his rhythm his style in this match so it's over 12 19. this is a similar position to yesterday when Narioka had this monstrous comeback Easy Jar just took his foot off the pedal just slightly. Lost a bit of concentration. So, it's over. so eight match Pass points point. now 12. for the world number 10. And that'll do it. It's wide, and I don't think Lowe's going to even bother to challenge. He's been given a bit of a thrashing truth to tell here in only 32 minutes on court Lee has blitzed him with some brilliant badminton <laughs> 32 minutes the official match time and Lo hardly had time to breathe in that contest. Wonder how far he can go here in Birmingham this week. Bit of a tame end, to be honest.
Well, welcome back to Birmingham. Canals and bar the canal and the barges just uh, very close to the arena here. Terrific crowd inside as well as we head towards our fourth match of the day. It's the men's singles between Jonathan Christie of Indonesia and Kondavut Viditsan of Thailand, the current world champion. Here's how the men's singles draw is panning out, starting to take shape. Now we've just seen Lee Zizhia make his way into the quarterfinals. He'll play either Sen or Antonsen next. We are concentrating on that third match down, Christie against the number eight seed from Thailand. Let's hear it for Jonathan Christie of Indonesia and Thailand's Kalabat Veritza! 